Well, this is different uh, for a number of reasons. It's, it's different physically because in the first movie, that was my real hair, <laughs> which is a little trade secret. I actually, for some reason, that's when you're young and you don't know anything different and you're willing to dye your hair platinum blonde <laughs> to the point where the hair people are like, oh, I'm surprised it hasn't fallen out. Um, so yeah, so now, you know, I'm, I'm back in the, in, you know, I'm, I'm in a wig and, uh, uh, you, you know, I'm, I'm sure it's, I have the same answer as everyone else. It's, uh, it was strange at first, you know, to kind of get back into character, into the outfits. Uh, and then, and then it becomes strange that it's not strange anymore. You just kind of get back into, you know, the, uh, the way, uh, Mugatu kind of, uh, you know, handles himself. Well, it's going to be interesting because with the 15 years in between the movies, you, you're going to, you're really going to have, uh, more than ever a brand new audience seeing this for the first time. Uh, so I think, uh, Ben and, uh, you know, has done just a great job with kind of obviously, uh, picking up where we left off from the first movie, kind of, kind of paying off where the, where the story ended. Uh, and then, and then for the most part has really just created this brand new story. That's, uh, inventive, uh, it's self-deprecating in a perfect way, talking about how much older we all are, and uh, which I think you kind of have to address that in a way, and, and, it, and it, uh, I, I think it gets the audience on your side as well to just kind of make fun of the fact that it's, uh, that it's much later, and um, these guys are still trying to hang in the fashion game and uh, the model world. It's a much... And I think it's a much bigger story in scope than the first one, in a way. Uh, so it almost has an action-adventure quality to it. Uh, and, and so, you know, I think it's going um, to do really well in that regard.